Elon Musk is repositioning the SpaceX satellite, the Star X, Starlink satellite. We're working with Elon Musk and Starlink satellite. So they're positioning those Starlights, uh, the, the Starlink satellites to provide good coverage. Hey guys, I wanted to give you a quick orbital mechanics lesson today, and it's because I'm back here in Florida and I need to address something. The governor has praised Elon Musk for repositioning Starlink satellites twice now. A few weeks ago, he did it during Hurricane Ian, and now Governor Ron DeSantis has talked again about praising Elon Musk for keeping Starlink active in Ukraine. But he says, and I quote, Elon Musk positioned his satellites over Ukraine and gave them these things so they've actually been using his devices to be able to defend their country. But whoa, stop. He has not repositioned the satellites, and this is, the, he said it twice now, and maybe he just doesn't understand how it works, and that's fine. But I wanna tell you guys how it works, and we're gonna use some props. So it's important to note that the Starlink satellites are all shared globally. So there are no Florida specific or Ukraine specific satellites. In fact, someone in Florida who's using a Starlink satellite, that same satellite could be used in Ukraine just about 45 minutes later. It's the dishes that are being supplied that are helping people in these areas to use the service. But let's break it down a little bit more. So first of all, let's identify how close the Starlink satellites are to the Earth's surface in a model like this, they would be, yeah, extremely close because that's low Earth orbit. So now that we know how close these Starlink satellites are orbiting, it's important to remind you that they're always in motion. In fact, they are going once around the Earth every 90 minutes, so they're not just gonna hover over one particular area. They can't do that. So don't forget that the Starlinks are always orbiting in the same orbital plane, so it may look like they can stay in the same spot, but don't forget the Earth also rotates. So how does Starlink get global coverage? Well, every time there's a launch, they're launching 60 satellites into an orbital plane, but they do it at different times and this can create different orbital inclinations. So you have many different planes and inclinations creating a sort of swarm of satellites or a shell. So this is a free app. It's a Starlink satellite tracker and you can see at any given time there are about half to a dozen satellites operating overhead and they're moving very quickly faster than an airliner. So the coverage is shared equally. You can't favor one geographical region over another. Okay, so what Ellie just pointed out is that it's not possible to take a satellite and just reposition it over some point on the Earth. You might be saying, whoa, wait a minute. I thought there are these things called geosynchronous satellites. You can do that. But you've got to remember that the Starlink satellites are in low Earth orbit. They're way down here. Whereas geosynchronous satellites are at a much, much higher altitude way out over here and while you could position those things it's not possible to easily take a swarm of satellites down here and move them up to geosynchronous plus that would defeat the whole purpose of the starlink satellites and that is low latency because right. because they're very low you're able to get very fast internet speeds to put it out there would defeat the whole purpose yeah. of it so thanks to scott walter for helping give us that lesson he is a rocket scientist so i think we can trust him but i just wanted to address this misconception that they're repositioning the satellites because they're actually just repositioning the dishes on the ground so hopefully using these props helps clear up any confusion for you and hopefully you learned something and please make sure to stay tuned i'm going to have a lot of content uh, while I'm here in Florida we are actually helping chop up starlings in the other room to mount them for emergency relief vehicles here so you won't want to miss that video but I just wanted to give you that little lesson and I hope you're having a great day